Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video for this chap here, Term Insane, is that how you say that? He's trying to get the flight counter to work. Now I've done a video recently talking about how you can set up things like the timers. However, the ability to kind of keep track of how many flights you've had can also be handy too. The cool thing, there is a Lua script. If I go into the widget setup and I choose the widget that I'm interested in, let's just, um, just pick that, select the widget. And there is one in here in the big list. You might have spotted it as you've been mooching around. There's one called flights and it allows you to set up a number of things so that it only counts a flight after certain conditions have been met. The first one is for a switch. So you can move a switch into a specific position. Maybe that's going to be the arming switch you use on a model or the throttle cut. You also need to select the motor channel. That's going to be the motor channel that you're going to be using. So my motor channel, let's uh, rather than inputs and everything, let's find it in the list. There it is for the throttle channel and the minimum flight duration. I'm going to turn this down for the sake of the video. We'll have it something like five seconds. However, you might want it a bit higher because you might be you know, testing the prop and things on the ground. And what we'll do is there we now have the flights thing. Now that's going to count up every time we fly. Apologies for the background on this. I've tried to make it so it's easy to read. I'm not entirely sure I have succeeded. So if the switch is in that particular position, we have receiving telemetry, importantly. I have a receiver bound at the moment. And I've also, if I just go into the model and we zoom across, we can see that I have discovered the sensors and the sensors are coming across here. So the telemetry is there. However, I suspect that one of the three conditions hasn't been met that means that the counter will trip. So let's have a look at this. If we just go into widget settings, we do have this ability to turn on something called debug. And this is great because now here it tells us that the switch is off, the throttle is or motor is off and we are getting telemetry and we're looking for a five second duration. The state is ground. So if I now put the switch into the on position it now tells me the switch is on if i raise the throttle it says flight starting it's counting down three four five seconds it's going to count that as a flight and when i land turn everything off then that's counted it the last big tip I'll give you is that once it has counted a flight, you have to kind of power cycle the radio in order for the flight to be counted again. Welcome to HTX. You, can't, you can't just keep the radio on and then fly again. I found that it doesn't work like that. But if I, um, the telemetry is being received, the switch is in the on position, throttle is up, flight starting, two, one. There we go, we have another flight. So hopefully that answers your question and hopefully now you know how to use the flight log widget. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.